said and done, you know. And uh, luckily for us, and I, I'll say this, I think it's totally absurd, ludicrous, you guys can quote me. Whoever scheduled this game, whether it's TV, whether it's, the, it's, it's totally, you know, it's not right, you know. If they're looking for safety of the kids, this is not right, especially in a game with this kind of opponent or you're playing off of a, you know, off a short week and, you know, it's, it's just not right. And I'm not saying we should always have seven or eight days to prepare, prepare for Georgia Tech. I'm just saying I don't care who it is. It's not fair for Georgia Tech to turn around and play us. It's not fair for – I'm just – I don't think it's right, you know, especially if we're playing on the road, you know, too, which is it's, you know, it's crazy. But anyway, that's my – I'm blowing – you know, I'm letting off some steam. So. Do, you, do you think <laughs> Thursday night games you should always have a bye going into I think it? so. I think so. I, I don't think it's, I mean, I don't, I, there's no question about it, in my opinion. So, my, but that's here nor there. So, I, I just blew up. You guys don't have to put that out there. But <laughs> I'm just, but I, you know, you but that's. You on it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you got to have something to write. <laughs> Why do you think, in, especially in the past few years, you've had success? I mean, well, now, it, they gain yards, but they haven't been able to score. Well, they're going to gain yards year. now, man. You know, yeah. that's what they do. Uh, I mean, they're going to gain. What we've been able to do the last couple of years is not give up the explosive plays. You know, the year that we got beat down there in 2009, you know, in the first half, we played probably as good a defense, I mean, in that first half. I mean, we played great. I think they might have had 80 yards total offense, and one of those was a 50-yard pass play. But that one play was a touchdown, you know. And... Uh, uh, but that's what you can. And in the second half, they, we gave up some explosive plays, and uh, that's kind of when we went and really went and studied those guys, you know, and talked to some people that just different things. And we really kind of we, we were running our old techniques and stuff, and then we've kind of gone to this other the, the technique that we play right now, um, you know. And luckily, the last three years we've had some time to prepare for them a little bit. You know, and that's I think why you look at probably their bowl success or maybe lack thereof. You know, they have they have they, is people have more time to prepare for it to. You know, in a short week, it's impossible. And it's not so much your your option principles. It's getting the scout team and getting them coming off the ball with the mindset that they're going to be coming off the the speed and the tempo of the backs. You know, all that that surge that they're coming off with. That's what you're is hard to simulate, and that's where you know before you know it. They marched it down the field on you. And, you know, and you might have played great defense in second and five, you know, or it's second and four, you know, that kind of thing. And that's where the last couple of years we've played, and it's been second and nine, second and eight. We've, you know, we've made them, we've kept them behind their, their I think, their plan, you know, a lot of third and six or more, you know, and not a lot of third and four or less because then you start getting into two down territory and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And that's, we've been able to do that. And, um, that's been a part of our success right there. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd imagine they put new wrinkles into this offense every year. What do you see from them this season? Well, they're running a little bit of diamond stuff. They ran, and, they, you know, I'm sure they're going to add another wrinkle to it. You know, they ran a trap the first uh, game. They ran a little power read with it. And now I'm sure they've got a you know, triple option off of it, too, I would think. And, uh, but that's something. You know, last year we, we were prepared for the kind of the spread look. You know, we kind of we heard through the grapevine. And, uh, you know, we didn't. We haven't seen anything. We went on the internet and just kind of we looked at high school film and stuff like that. You know, and just all the different kind of plays. But it was stuff that we practiced that they ran. You know, and uh, what high uh, school film? Were you oh, I don't know. It was, we just got on the just internet, like ran, just, we just typed in yeah, spread offense and spread bone or whatever. <laughs> we did it. And uh, but uh, you know, they're. I think uh, we've got to really look early how they're going to. Uh, any new schemes they're going to use against us, whether they switch block to try to tie our ends up, you know, block down and pull a guy around. If they're trying to load on our mic with the slot back. I mean, there's there's different ways right now in our mindset um, that I'm anticipating some potential things. They have not always shown that. They've done it at different times, but it's once in a blue moon on certain things how they block it. But uh, if they can, if they do it consistently, we've got to make some, be ready to make some adjustments, with, you know, with that. But uh, you know, that's we've just got to be sound in our option principles. Or you know, who's got dive, who's got quarterback, who's your pitch player. We've got to we we got to stay on our feet because they they're they're probably as good at chopping. I'm not just their you know there's they've been known up front 
but I mean on the perimeter they do a great job on you know our, our linebackers our corners are you know we've got to do a good job keeping our feet and, and you know staying on our feet right there and how keeping does, our leverage how does Vad Lee compare to their past quarterbacks you know very similar what I've seen you know I've only seen you know we, we he didn't play much you know against us if any I can't remember now, we looked at that game. I've looked at so much film that, you know, you kind of lose track. They're all kind of the same a little bit. You play goal line a little bit. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, he's, uh, to me, he's a, he's, a, he's a similar guy to what they had last year, I think. You know, maybe a little more accurate thrower. Um, and that seems like that's something that they're doing a little bit more. There's a little more play action pass and stuff with this guy. And they've always done it on first and ten to start a drive. That's kind of been their, you know, coming out in his MO a little bit. That's when they take a shot, you know, they do it on first and 10 to start. And then after that, it's, you know, they're about 85% run to pass, if not higher, you know, and uh, until you get to third downs. But um, uh, I, that's what I've seen. I've seen a little, I think he's a little more accurate. I, I, you know, the last two guys, Nesbitt and, um, was it Washington? Yeah. You know, he had, I think they both had live arms. You know, this kid just seems to be a little bit more um, accurate, you know, what I'm seeing. I know you hate five days. It goes without saying, you hate five days in between last game and this particular game. But do you do you look forward to a game like this in particular, just because it's a it's a serious challenge to what you have to do as a coach? Well, I don't look at it. It's guys. not so I mean, much. It's, it's not about me. You know, it's not much about me. Is getting our kids ready to play. I mean, they're the ones that have a chance to, you know, uh, they're going to play, not me. I mean, I've got it's a challenge. And, and, and get our scout teams and get all that whole thing. That's where the challenge comes in, get that all the pieces in the puzzle to work together to get it going in that right direction. Um, you know, obviously we, we've got to go in the mindset that it's going to be a 60-minute fist fight. I mean, that's how it's been. I mean, since 2004, or two, you know, we won it in 2004, but since 2005, you know, in the ACC when they've done split divisions, it's been us or them. You know, and this game's been critical. Last year was the first time in those that time that we didn't win that we probably didn't go to the championship game. Um, you know, and if we took care of business last year, we I mean we're we're there. I mean, you know, because we we had to, you know, we were the head the head deal. If we just take care of business, we were going to be back in it again. Um, but point being is that's this has been a big big game. You know, and so um, it'll be a big game. First conference game. First conference game on the road, you know, and that's if we're going to be successful, we got to win on the road. Um, obviously, uh, you know, we're, we have growing pains on the other side, but we've we've got to. It's not about them. We've got to get off the field and give them the ball. You know, is what we've got to do. You know, and uh, that's kind of been been our success against them the last couple of years. We've gotten off the field. Our offense has at least controlled the clock, kind of like what they've done, really. You know, against East Carolina and. and uh, uh, you know, in that game a little bit, you know, we just, we need to, you know, we need to get off the field, get the ball back to our offense. They need to control. That's always been kind of our success. We've we got to be able to control the ball offensively a little bit. And um, obviously it helps to put points on the board too, because if you can get them behind, that changes their mindset a little bit. If they're ahead, man, they're just going, they're just going to keep coming off that ball and make it a clock game and, and uh, just kind of wear you down that way, you know, so. It's, it's kind of a chess match that way, but it, we've got to have some help too, you know. And, um, you know, if we can create some turnovers or get the ball on the ground, you know, that's the one thing that they've done a great job of. I, they're not as much triple option as, as they are more double, meaning it's the quarterback. You know, they're going to give it, and they give a lot of gives to the, that, and their, their reads are midline, or it's going to be keeper pitch. You know, there's very little triple option anymore because the, you, they just too much – opportunity to put the ball on the ground you know you don't see them turning it over like they did maybe when they first started you know in, you know with Paul you know when they where they turn it over is probably when they pitch it you know that's when there's the ball's been on the ground if you can get some pressure on the quarterback and uh, you know alter that that pitch relationship noticed uh Trimble was in blue earlier this week what's your thinking at the whip there oh uh, right now we're going to go into this game uh with Kyle Fuller is our whip. You know, he's played that spot for us. Uh, we're going to put our two, you know, our freshman corners are going to be out there. You know, I don't care that being being out there. Those guys have played good football right now. Um, you know, obviously that's a tremendous challenge for them because they're going to get, you know, they're going to be able, you know, they're going to take some shots on them, I'm sure. But, you know, we mix up our coverages too. Sometimes we're playing quarter, sometimes we're playing 
you know, uh, hard, you know, more safeties over the top, you know, it's just for the run fits and some of the different things. But, um, um, you know, that's just Kyle's had that experience. You know, he played that position two years ago, and then GW played it last year. And uh, so get back. Just in a short week, we're trying to just keep as much of our <laughs> continuity with what we've done with this scheme in the past. And we've got everybody that's playing in this game, for the most part, other than our two corners, have played in this game for the last three years. So I, I'm hoping the experience factor in a short week is going to also help us, you know, because it's just hard to, to simulate this offense, you know, it is, and get all the different looks that you want in, you know, three days. On that same, sorry, right. on that same page, Jack Tyler was saying how he's played them so many times, it's almost like second nature. Do more of the veterans kind of teach the young kids in this game more than usual? Well, yeah, that. I mean, y y y yes and no. You know, the young guys, and I told them out there, this is such a, this is such a um, technique-oriented scheme that we run here with this game. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of little things that we're doing that's totally different than what we do on regular offenses. That if a young guy is not ready to play, he's not going to play. You know, that's kind of why we put J.R. Collins in the last, you know, two years ago down there. We had Luther Maddy couldn't play this technique, this one technique we were playing. If he couldn't, they were going to wear us out, you know. So, and that, that has nothing to do that these guys aren't good football players. They're just not experienced enough. We probably need to have a little more time with those guys to prepare them for it. You know, and that'll be something we'll have to look at, you know, in spring practice. Um, you know, even in fall practice, going into getting some of those younger guys next year when we're losing some experience to get those techniques that we've got to spend some more time with. But um, and in a short week of this week, it was hard. Now we practiced. You know, we've had a couple nights that um, a couple Sundays that we took time here previously to work Georgia Tech. You know, the previous three weeks, and um, you know, we first week was just kind of technique stuff. Uh, we kind of the next week was introducing a couple things, you know. So this is, but it was just we weren't in pads and full go. You know, it was just more, you know, the principles and all those type of things, option fits and you know key reads and those type of things. But we've tried to throw it up to them as much as possible. But that's but that's a good question. Those guys are trying to help them, but they've got to get out and do it too. You know, so we've had nothing but team times all week. You know, on this was just our second practice, but we've gone. She's almost an hour a day of just team time, you know, which, you know, we've really, we took a couple of periods yesterday of technique and fundamental stuff, but then we've just gone all team. That's kind of the more reps you can get with this offense, the better. So that, that I think, you know, we've got to have reps, 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 reps. You ever do that before with the Sundays for an opponent? No, we haven't, other than these guys, you know, this is the, kind of the first we've done it. And it's kind of just because they're a unique um, deal. And I tell you what, I've got the utmost respect for Paul and, what they do, they're, they're tough, they're hard-nosed. Um, you know, he, he knows that offense and he's seen every wrinkle against it. And, you know, and he he's, does a good job of countering, you know, and it's, you know, and that's where we've got to do a good job of seeing how they're going to attack us and how we counter, you know, and that's, and just not giving up any big plays and after that. You ever run into him on like, Recruiting trail. No, I haven't. Like you know, that. I haven't. Now I talked to him before the game a little bit, and you know, um, I tell you, I let him know how much of a pain in the tail he is, though, man. You know, <laughs> for all of us to prepare for, and I, I think he likes that. You know, and uh, but he is. I mean, he's good at what he does, and um, and, and they're you know they're good at what they do, and um, we're going to have to play our you know we're going to have to play a great football game. You know, bottom line, we really are. We got to play phys fast. We got to play physical. We got to play disciplined, uh, and we can't give up the big play. You know, we got to, and we got. They're gonna. You've got to control their run game. I don't think you can just stop their run game. I mean, well, they last year, I think they had 180 yards rushing against us. That's stopping their run game. You know what I mean? That's cutting. That's putting them in half. You know, that's like holding them below 100 yards rushing. When it's in there, and you know, from that standpoint, we gave up a little over three yards per rush. You know, that's. You know, that's that's good defense against those guys. And that's what we've got to do a good job of, you know. That's what we've been able to do. So